so good. I love a good thin crust. There could be a total catfish possibility. Actually, be on a date with my Hawaii, and when that fear started creeping up inside me. Yeah, you can come and watch me drink my morning coffee. guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video for this video i'm doing something super fun and one of its kind on this channel i have never before filmed this kind of a video i do chit chat get ready with me's on this channel but today as i chit chat with you all i'm going to be having my food now this format of video is called a mukbang if i'm not pronouncing it wrong the whole idea behind this is ke aap agar tv ke us side baith ke ya phone ke us side baith ke akele khana kha rahe ho so you will not feel lonely while i eat my food you can go grab your pizza pasta avocado toast and i stay and everything that i have deliciousness over here and chill with me and today as i eat my food i am going to dive into a topic that i haven't much spoken about on this channel and that is my dating life experiences now when it comes to dating life and relationships and stuff like that i don't talk a lot online when it comes to my dating life i'm that single person who gives everyone advice and doesn't talk anything about her own dating life so aaj main socha itminan se baith ke baatein karte hain khana wana khate hain aur bahut sari gapshap karte hain jitne bhi mere dating experiences hain my honest online dating experiences on bumble I'm going to be sharing all of that with you all. Also, if this is the first time you've come onto my channel, then hi, I'm Sara. I make beauty and lifestyle content here on YouTube. If you're new here, take a moment, hit that subscribe button, join the Sara Squad. I'm sure you'll love it here. And also, don't forget to hit the bell icon right next to it so that every time I upload a video, you get notified. And with that, we can dive straight in. Yeah. I have so much deliciousness in front of me. I've got pasta with porcini sauce. I've got some yummy, delicious pizza, and I also have my comfort food that is avocado toast. I love. avocado toast mostly for nashta uh, but yeah sometimes i crave it in the night also and i have some iced tea over here so this is peach and apricot iced tea so mera jo dating life ka experience hai na that all started uh, after the lockdown i had never been on a dating app before that uh, if i ever like met a person it was always mutual friends se aur mere jo ex boyfriend tha uski to puri story you would know if you have been following my channel from a very long time but after that break up i was really not ready to get into any relationship whatsoever i didn't want to meet people only i had just gone into my own shell of working and not wanting to meet anyone new but after like 6 months of my break up in 2022 my friend deep was so fed up of me moving on my break up that he was like you have to get online you have to go meet new people so he actually went ahead and made my dating account on bumble Now, when he made that account, I was really not keen on even then, like swiping and meeting people. But boy, have I been proven wrong. Hmm. Some people ask me if you're a pizza person or a pasta person. I mean, why can't you just be a both person? I can't choose between pizza and pasta. Now, I was from a girls' school. Okay, I did not have many guy friends or boy friends growing up. I barely knew any boys in my life. Only I just knew how to be friends with girls and. That's why when I went into this online dating scene, I was very open to everything. I was like, even if I find a friend, a relationship, a friendship, I'm okay with anything. I went with an open mind, and I think that's the best way to go about with stuff like this because you can't really know and have an agenda when you're on a dating app. Is how I think. So initially, when it all started, when I made the account, I did not have a lot of details filled in. I didn't have anything filled in. Deep ne kali mei photos dali thi, aur kuch kuch likha tha mere baare mein, and I was not taking interest. But once I started swiping, I realized you can come to know so much more about a person than just from their photos. You know, you come to know their personalities. Of I like long drives and dogs, and I like to chill at cafes. It's a match. Like the, those are the same things I like. At least you can initiate a conversation. So. That's how it all started for me. I updated my profile also. I went ahead, added details of what I like, what I don't like, uh, what is the first thing I notice in a person, stuff like that, so that you just get to know each other better. Now, when I started swiping, that time offline dating had not yet started because people were still very scared of COVID, so nobody was meeting offline. So mostly everything was happening online only. So this was somewhere around I think September October of 2020 and I'm really bad at texting okay I am not a good texter I wouldn't say I'm a very bad texter also I'm fast I do reply uh, to people really really fast if I'm interested in the conversation so for me to be interested in someone long enough to be on the application was the catch you know like I just needed people to make good conversations I find that so attractive when people sachi mein agar acche se tum baat kar lo na तो आधा तो दिल तुमने उधर ही जीत लिया है मेरा बिकॉज इट्स सो अट्रैक्टिव एंड पीपल टॉक वेल आई थिंक इट्स सो अंडर लाइक 
that's everything to me hmm. okay. coming to my first offline date abhi sabse pehle jab i went to meet somebody offline the first date i had offline i remember so clearly was exactly on diwali day okay and uh, this is november i think of 2020 और दिवाली के दिन मैं अपने फ्रेंड्स को शाम को मिलने वाली थी सो आई डिसाइड टू मीट दिस पर्सन एट अ कैफे इन जुहू इन द आफ्टरनून एंड आई एम वेरी चिल आई एम वेरी नॉर्मल आई एम लाइक हाँ ठीक है टू दिस पर्सन फॉर वेरी लॉन्ग ऑलमोस्ट अ मंथ आई वॉज स्टार्टिंग विद एम ऑनलाइन सो विल बी फाइन आई वेंट इन माई ओन कार आई शेयर माई लोकेशन विद माई फ्रेंड्स एंड आई मेट इन द डे लाइट बिकॉज दूज आर लाइक सर्टन ग्राउंड रूल दैट आई सेट फॉर माई सेल्फ लेट्स जस्ट कॉल दिस पर्सन रोम I'm gonna name my dates after places I feel like they should live in, not like they actually live in those places. And I was on my way to meet Rome. पहले तो I was super chill because I was talking to him for almost a month, and at this point I was comfortable, and I was like, ठीक है मिलते हैं. और मुझे ना ज़्यादा chat करने पसंद नहीं. I like to go ahead, meet that person, and see if I can actually click with that person offline. Now no points for guessing. I was super late to this date. When I reached the cafe, I reached there, and then I started getting a little confused. I was like. There could be a total catfish possibility. Like, as I hope you also think, you know, he's not come or he's not gonna look anything like his photos online. And when that fear started creeping up inside me, especially because everyone was wearing masks in the cafe. Like, some people were, some people were not in the cafes. Even then, like, COVID was not completely gone. So I enter the cafe, and then this tall guy walks up to me. He looks exactly like his photos. Tall, handsome, really good looking. What a personality! I shake hands with him and then we sit and we start talking and talking and talking. It was a vibe. Like I was so comfortable because I was. I felt like I knew this person because I was talking to him for the past month. So, जितने भी fears I had while driving to the cafe and being there, it was all gone. And while I was there, I realized, oh my god, I'm on my first Bumble date. And that realization just hit me. It did not really lead up to a second date. To be very honest with this person, because. the conversation like i was saying i'm so attracted to conversation were not very fruitful like he was a doctor which is why i had swiped right on him and it was a match and i thought ke that would be something we would have in common to talk about because i'm from the healthcare industry he also is a doctor to matlab kuch hoga common baat karne ke liye but he is a doctor who actually wanted to go ahead pursue being in a band and starting his band and he was very into music and i'm not really that much of a music freak so i don't um enjoy music that much i don't know that much about music so it was either him talking or me talking there was no connect between the two of us but that was fine that date just gave me a sort of confidence that uh, i can do this i can go ahead and meet people because it was a a different experience altogether and i quite enjoyed it so after that i started swiping a lot more talking to a lot of people online i think i would end up बहुत ज्यादा बातें हो जाती थी ऑनलाइन ही नॉट नेसेसरीली कि हर एक इंसान जिससे तुम बात करो यू विल गो अहेड एंड मीट देम ऑफलाइन जितना तुम बात करो ना ऑनलाइन लोगों से उतना यू बिकम वो क्लियर ऑफ वॉट एक्जैक्टली यू वॉन्ट वॉट एक्जैक्टली यू आर लुकिंग फॉर फ्रॉम दिस ऑनलाइन डेटिंग सीन यू कम टू नो वॉट यू लाइक अबाउट पर्सन वॉट यू डोट यू ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज लाइक अंडर शेयरिंग वॉट इज ओवर शेयरिंग बिकॉज यू टेन टू शेयर अ लॉट वेन यू आर चार्टिंग विद अ पर्सन सो वो बाउंड्रीज वगैरह तुमको समझ जाती है ना अराउंड डिसम्बर आई वेंट ऑन माई सेकेंड डेट दिस डेट इन एक्चुअली हैपन ऑफलाइन सबसे पहले I met Amsterdam. Now Amsterdam was very opposite to what I was as a person. He was more introvertish, more staying at home kind of being, whereas I was more outgoing, extrovertish. I wanted to go out, meet at cafes, uh, go for dinners and stuff like that. Whereas this person, I have been chatting with this person for a very long time, but is never ready to go out for a date. to a cafe or even a coffee or you know this so i started finding it quite fishy so humse baat kiye ja rahe kiye ja rahe kiye ja rahe but kabhi bhi hum mile nahi the and it went on from i think november till december one month we are only talking 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 and every time i proposed meeting he had an excuse to not meet outdoors now usually i would not take interest and in continue conversation with a person who does not want to meet offline but there was just something about him that kept me glued like i was still talking to this person itna time ho gaya tha so then i think one fine night hum log bahar mein bahar nikli thi main drive ke liye bahar nikli thi i was on the drive and i was texting him and i told him that i'm out for a drive do you want to meet and this time he was like yeah let's meet so that is the first time i met him now i was because he was never agreeing to meet and then he wanted to meet for a drive I don't mind. I love drives and I love meeting on drives. I was like, ठीक है, देखते हैं. Let's meet and let's see. Oh, uh, what happens? From the minute this guy sits into my car, I kid you not, you guys. I see him. I go park my car. He's come into my car. From the minute he sits into my car, it's a vibe. It's a total match. मतलब वो 
जो मतलब सिर्फ ऐसे हम बातें करने लगे ना कि जो हम सदियों से एक दूसरे को जानते हैं हम इतना बात की जाती है इतना इतना कैजुअल नॉर्मल सी बातें होती थी देर वॉज नो बीट ऑफ ऑकवर्डनेस नथिंग वॉट्स एवर आई थिंक वी जो अराउंड फॉर अ गुड टू आर्स अराउंड बॉम्बे फॉर नो राइम और रीजन हम लोग रैंडमली चला रहे थे बहुत मजा आ रही थी एंड ऑफकोर्स इन ऑल ऑफ दिस कॉन्वर्जेशन आई डेफिनेटली आस्ट हम कि वॉट इज योर प्रॉब्लम वाई डिन यू वॉन्ट टू मीट ऑफ लाइन लाइक एट अ कैफे और समथिंग सो टर्न आउट ही वॉज अ थिएटर एक्टर and a lot of his work basically involved him to sit at cafes all day write scripts meet a lot of people the pura din uski life wohi hai sitting meeting for dinner socializing that's why because he's like introvert by nature since his work involved him to be out so much he did not really care to meet for a date also in which i think made perfect sense but after that date we continued to have a lot more dates it was like so much fun honestly since i told you all i was with an open mind into all of this I never really cared to give this a tag. मुझे मुझे फर्क ही नहीं पड़ रहा था I didn't want to make it official. I don't feel like you need to put that pressure over especially new budding things. तो मैंने कभी वो क्वेश्चन पूछा ही नहीं कि do you want to make this official or do you want to do anything? We were just rolling with it and it was super fun. We were we used to go on drive dates. We used to meet at his place. He used to cook for me and we celebrated my birthday together. We celebrated New Year's together. It was such a nice vibe. We used to play carrom at his house and eat shawarma. Shawarma was like a dish. Okay, we used to always always eat shawarma. Just being with him was fun, and I never really wanted to question it. Like neither did I want anything more than what was happening. I was happy, and I think most important was that only after. Having the traumatic breakup I had last, I realized that most important is to you are happy. Meaning, if you are happy, then everything is fine. Then I think in Feb he went to his hometown, and uh, second week, then he was just coming or not coming, I don't remember. But when he went to his hometown, also we were chatting and talking on call and all, which was all cool. And suddenly, I think something happened back at home or with his ex girlfriend i think she was getting married or something like that that really put him into depression just really bad like uske uske baad to get him out of that was something i was not capable of doing matlab maine bahut koshish bhi ki i i did try to talk to him i did try to reach out and uh, all of that but it was not happening only then i did help him with mental health resources i think he started seeking therapy also after that but he just went down a rabbit hole jisme the nikalna for him was very mushkil like uh, and one thing i've learned in life is like draw the line uh, don't get way too attached to the point ke you should know ke kitni tumhari boundary aur kitne had tak tum kar sakte ho like jitne had tak i could do something for him i tried after that it was just not possible and it's okay like not every relationship or situation ship or friendship has to have a happy ending whatever we had was perfect and today today i can tell you ye the 2020 ki baat hai 2021 ki baat hai just february 2021 so up to 2022 mein hai hum and now i can tell you that he's in a good space we still talk we still chat occasionally we are just friends now but it's a nice vibe wherein i didn't bother him to a point where he would get so irritated by me ke wo mujhse kabhi baat hi nahi karta i think it was it's like these are experiences that i'm That I'm gonna always cherish in life, you know. That I'm gonna talk over food with someone. I hate that avocado makes the bread soggy, but this avocado toast has hummus, so much goodness, so tasty. After my thing with Amsterdam, I I was not that much online. I used to talk, but क्या हो गया था? I think COVID wave two हो गया था. Then I was working. I was in college, jati thi of course, because I was an intern. I was working in the hospital during COVID wave two, so I was I used to get very very tired all day. इतना टाइम नहीं मिलता था फॉर मी टू यू नो चैट और मेक कॉन्वर्जेशन विद एनी वन एंड बिटवीन दिस आई मेट टू अमेजिंग पीपल आई मेट बाली एंड आई मेट नेदरलैंड्स लेट्स कॉल इम नेदरलैंड्स बिकॉज दैट्स वेर इज एंडेड अप गोइंग फॉर हिस स्टडीज और वो कुछ लोग होते हैं ना जिनसे तो मिलो वाइब करो एंड यू जस्ट इंस्टेंटली नो के दे आर योर बॉडीज दे हैव अ फ्रेंडशिप वाइब वो फ्रेंड जोन में ही चले जाते हैं ऑटोमेटिकली यू डोंट फील एनी थिंग रोमांटिक और अट्रैक्टिव अबाउट दैम वैसे वाले वे में तो ये वो लोग थे यू नो बाली से तो अभी भी लाइक बाली इज बिकम सच अ गुड फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड लाइक कभी भी वीकेंड पे तो मोस्टली ही जस्ट लाइक यू नो कॉल मी कम डाउन लेट्स गो लेट्स आई एम पिकिंग यू आप लेट्स गो फॉर अ ड्राइव लेट्स गो फॉर अ स्पेन ऐसा मतलब ऐसा वाला आई विथ सो चिल विथ हिम लाइक ही इज दैट गाय फ्रेंड दर आई हैव दैट आई डोंट थिंक आई शेयर अ लॉट ऑफ हिम ऑनलाइन ऑल्सो इतना बिकॉज वी मीड एट वेरी ऑड आर्स एंड ऑल बट ही इज ऑलवेज बिन देर फॉर मी वेन एवर आई नीड लाइक हेल्प He is there at one call, and both of us know that we are like buddies, and he can come chill at mine whenever he wants, and I can call him whenever I want. You find that friend that was missing. You know, I feel like I always needed a Bali in my life, 
and I found one. And Netherlands and I also had a very we had an amazing phase when we were like chatting and as we started meeting offline because. और तभी कोविड वेव टू था जैसे कि मैंने बोला एंड पूरा दिन मैं काम करती थी उसके बाद रात को पूरे रास्ते खाली होते थे एंड यू सुगो फॉर दिस लॉन्ग लॉन्ग ड्राइव्स एट नाइट एंड जस्ट बी ड्राइविंग अराउंड टाउन डूइंग नथिंग खाली पेट्रोल जलाते थे हम लोग बट बहुत मजा आती थी यार पूरा दिन वैसे भी कैफेज एंड ऑल वो द शॉर्ट एब्सोल्युटली वेव टू वाज मच वर्स देन वेव 1 राइट सो फुल डे एनीवेज देयर वाज नो सोशलाइजेशन एंड ही हैड जस्ट रिकवर्ड फ्रॉम कोविड सो ही वाज सेफ आई वाज फुली वैक्सीनेटेड सो वी यूज्ड टू मीट एट नाइट for drives and drives and drives absolutely nothing romantic happened between us nothing at all woh abhi apply kar raha tha to go to netherlands for his studies and now he's reached there and he's doing very well for himself touch wood and i'm very happy we do talk occasionally but time difference aa jata hai yeah so i think that pretty much sums it up that has been my online dating experience so far it's been super fun what i love about the online dating thing is that you can meet so many new people like this because i know a lot of introvert people always ask me how do you meet people and how do you make friends with so many people and how are you so confident in meeting these people that confidence comes with that person if you're talking to that person for a good enough time and you feel you know them uh then you can go like maine kitne logo se i've had conversations but not really gone ahead and met them because i felt like it would not be a vibe but overall my experience has been really good if i was not really your saturday night having a date with y'all then i would actually be on a date with my hawaii but uh, that's for another time that will be a story for another time but yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed y'all are free to guess who my hawaii is in the comment section below i would love to have your guesses but yeah let me know if you have ever been on online dates have you had any such experiences online this was my honest online dating experience as is the first of its kind video that i've done on my channel so if you enjoyed a mukbang sort of a video then let me know in the comments wo bhi to all kar sakte hai yaar aur khana kha sakte kyun nahi uh, if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for this video sarah's for shout out goes to bhavya thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel if you want to be a part of next video sarah's for shout out you know what to do hit that subscribe button bell icon right next to it and also leave a comment down below saying hashtag sarah squad and if you want to be a part of my next video sarah's for shout out i'll see you guys very soon in another video bye guys love you Mwah. Oh, 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 oh,